I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yeah, so okay. now, now the mic is new, and there it is. So what's going on, Jahai? How are you going with brother? Chilling, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So pretty much I was just over here talking about Devin Haney and everything. What are your thoughts on him? Devin Haney is a great fighter, man. Good fighter. Um, he beats he, he's beats a lot of guys in his division. Um, and yeah, I think we'll probably fight sometime down the line too, especially like he moves up the weight, you feel me? We we'll probably meet up at like 47. For your belt, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So, because you know you're at 47 right now, but I think yeah. by the time you get to where you need to be, everybody who's on top of the is either, either going to be either leaving or retired or yeah. Rest, you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I, I'm with you on that. I, I think that's a good little basis. And uh, pretty much, man. So Jahai, man, we wanted to bring you in right. yesterday. I had everything lined up for you, everything, but it's cool. Yeah, got it's technical today. difficulties, man. All good. So let's go ahead and talk about the Maradona. Uh, Jersey, dude. Let's go ahead and talk about that. what was your inspiration in doing that? It was actually my dad's idea. You feel me? Like, because my family is really into soccer, you know, like they that's that's their first sport, you feel me? Soccer. So yeah, and so Mary Donald was like a big influence to them, you feel me? So he told me, I was like, Yeah, let's just go with it. And yeah, it worked out. Shout out to all my Argentinian fans. All right, because you had the Latin fans going crazy. They like we your high Tucker fans until the end now. They <laughs> can win his first championship, and that's a big base to really touch. You know, you did something big right there because yeah. really, at the end of the day, the Latinos, the Mexicans, they they tune in for any fight. It could that's be right. it could be two midgets on the side of the road with boxing gloves. They will tune in and watch that fight. That's so, right. You know what you did was absolutely remarkable because you 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 acknowledge somebody who is just one of the fallen soldiers, fallen athletes down there who's mm -hmm. absolutely great around. Yeah. The world. So you didn't just do something that was uh, national; you did something that was international. That, that's what a lot of these 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 young prospects don't get, and that's what I was telling you. You did an awesome thing in your branding situation. I appreciate it, man. So that's where when you get the calls from Adidas, Pumas, Nike, yeah. things like that, when they see those type of things, because you're smart. You're trying to be an international superstar, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what every boxer needs to try to be in, in a sense as well. Too. So let's talk to us about Vegas. How was Vegas, man? I know you know you couldn't gamble, but how was Vegas for you, though? Well, Vegas is cool, man. Like, you know, this trip, I definitely got to enjoy Vegas a little bit more. You know, it was um you got, got to be out there for a little longer. Yeah, but Vegas is, is great, you know. All right, but what you do in Vegas? I know you was in the bubble, but you had yeah. to be after you got out the bubble. Uh, after the bubble, after the bubble, you know, we walked around, we walked the strip, we got to drive a couple places. We got to dri actually drive around the town a little bit. Got some In and Out Burger, you know. Um, got some, got some, some um Morton Steakhouse. Um, you know, it was, okay. it was good, and it was it was nice temperature, especially like in the winter. You know, New York is mad cold, so the the, the warmth it was nice. Man, I'm telling you right now, Vegas is my second home, and I'm telling you, bro, you I'm gonna have to show you a little bit more of the city, but you said in and out, definitely, so definitely. You, you gotta come to California so you get authentic in and out. That's import that's imported in and out right there. So you gotta come to California some real in and out, and then we're gonna have to do some fat burger as well, too. So then you can try to go ahead and see what's going on the All right, copy, copy. All right, hey, so speaking of that, I'm not, I'm, I don't got, I'm not in training camp for right now for like these next couple of days. So I gotta definitely go check out juniors. I gotta go check yeah, out juniors. Like I remember that. I remember that from this whole time. You know, like I was like, I gotta go check out juniors. All right, so well, you, you go to juniors. Make sure you get a pastrami on a roll too. All right, I got you. These sandwiches, you love it. So make sure you do that, and then you know, pretty much. They got some good shopping over there as well, too. I know you got a good, yeah, nice yeah, little, yeah. you know, ESPN Plus, but, you know, go ahead and get dripped up real quick. I got you. I got you. All right. So, uh, pretty much, man, let's see. Uh, Burchette and Valdez, what are your fight, thoughts on that fight and who you got winning? Honestly, I don't know who. who I, mean, cause I never really watched Burchette like that. I watched the – I've seen a couple of his highlights, though, throughout this, you know. I know Valdez is a bad boy. That's going to be a great fight, like. That's gonna be a, a great fight. Them two Mexican warriors, bro. Um, if I had to put money on it, 
Ah, uh, I don't know, man. That's how tough it is. But um, I I probably still go with um, my son Valdez. I'd probably still go with Valdez just based on the fact I've seen him fight before. You know, hey Valdez, he's a hard hitter. But Chet is another guy that is very very high up there as well. Too. I yeah. expect. Valdez. So you should expect a knockout here as well too, because this oh, yeah. is this is a battle, and this is a, probably going to be a top ranked biggest fight to date this year because it's still yeah. early in the year. Yeah, and this is a big fight for them uh, and everything like that. Now, if it was a natural fight night, I would know that you probably would have probably stayed the week in Vegas, and you'd have probably oh, been yeah. there. Too. I know I definitely would have been there as well. But thing is, though, we'll get to that time in a few months. But we'll I look forward to that as well too. But all yeah. in all, man, I'm telling you, this fight right here is where you know legends can be made and everything. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. So I, and I love fights like that, you know, because that that those are like the stories that you're gonna hear about 10, 20, 30 years from now. You get what I'm trying to say? Like yeah. these are the guys that like 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 they will put him side by side to um Barrera and Eric Morales, you know, and right? And stuff like that. It shows you the importance of how important they really think this fight's going to be. So I, I can't wait to see it. Right. Right. Man, I'm telling you, this is going to be this is going to be fireworks, man. I wish you could have been on that card as well, too. But the way the circumstances is, I know that they threw it out there a little bit earlier because that card that was going on, that's more of a comedy, um, you know, rebound fight and everything like that. And it was a showcase for the younger talent in the top rank. So how do you feel yeah. about that? that you showcased in that sense as well too i feel like i did my thing um is that fight it was supposed to be the joe smith undercard but remember his um his opponent had caught covid you know right um but i feel like i did my thing i feel like i got to show a little more skills i you know i still went back this is some stuff i need to work on um i gotta i gotta make a couple adjustments on a few things but all in all i feel like the performance is all right all right let's run the tape real quick yeah, I got it on today. We got it. We got okay, it. Okay, you can run it there. You can run it there. You can run it And you hit him with the shank shot. I call that a shank shot. <laughs> so you hit him with the shank, you know, hit him with the shank. Now, it doesn't show him fall out, but it shows him fall out right there. And when you hit him with it, did you did you know he was done? Or you were like, well, I want to get some more of him. Can you please get back up? What do you, what I kind of wanted. I kind of wanted more, you know, because I was feeling good. I was in a. I was in a good groove, you know. And I feel like I could have ended the, the way how I ended it was beautiful, though. But I, I wanted to end it like a little bit more brutal, I should say, because I wanted to touch ESPN top ten. Right, right. So, but but hey, the way how it finished it was great. It was cool, though. I liked it, you know. But let me, hey, let me tell you about how, man. Uh, 